I came across an article earlier today that I want to talk about because I think it's pretty interesting um, here on PackersWire.com. And it says, here's a crazy stat about Christian Watson, Aaron Jones, and A.J. Dillon. So the 2022 Packers are an odd football team, and an odd football teams usually create fascinating statistical discoveries. Here's a wild stat. Rookie receiver Christian Watson has as many total touchdowns this season as running backs Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon combined. Last year, Jones and Dillon scored 17 total touchdowns. Through 13 games, the running back pair has just nine, the same amount as Watson has scored in just seven games. And I think that sort of shows you just how crazy Christian Watson's last month has been. I mean, the fact that he's been able to do what he's done after being pretty quiet the first part of the season, of course, dealing with lots of injuries. The right now, he is pretty much, I think, one of the sole reasons the Packers have finally started putting up points. And so they go on here. Another stat to highlight the point. Watson, who ran in a 46-yard touchdown on Sunday in Chicago, has as many rushing touchdowns, too, as Jones in 2022. Now, I'm, I almost think that stat is even more wild because Aaron Jones, I still think, is one of the most talented running backs in the NFL. And when you look at the Packers' backfield, they clearly like to utilize both A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones. And I think it's smart because you keep both guys fresh. If you only played Aaron Jones... He would likely deal with more injuries, and I think when you look at some of the you know running backs in the league that are the sole backs over the years, they you know wear down a lot faster after taking all those hits. And so I think it's smart, you know, these days that lots of teams like to utilize two different backs to sort of share the load. And I do think that Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon are a good combo together, having one guy um, and Aaron Jones who's a little more quick, Dillon a little bit more powerful, even though Aaron Jones himself is also very powerful. But the fact that Christian Watson has as many rushing touchdowns as Aaron Jones is pretty crazy. And going on that note, I found some interesting stats this morning when we look at the Packers in the red zone. So right now the Packers are 19th in red zone scoring attempts, so they don't get to the red zone super often. And they are 22nd in red zone scoring percentage at 51.28%. And a couple of years ago, the Packers were one of the best red zone teams in the NFL. Back when <clears throat> Nathaniel Hackett was here before he went to Denver, and now we're sitting in the bottom third of the league. If we take a look at the Packers inside the 10-yard line, this is interesting. The Packers have thrown the ball 21 times when inside the 10-yard line and only run the ball 12 times when inside the 10-yard line. So they are much more likely to try, you know, pass in those situations. Maybe that's because of you know the, the amount of guys in the box and they probably don't want to run into a crowded box. But at the same time, it is sort of interesting. But I found that in, uh, information this morning. But Aaron Jones, only two rushing touchdowns, even though he's one of the most talented backs in the NFL. Um, a little interesting. And one other interesting fact, I was just finding tons of stats this morning. Right now, Aaron Jones has the third highest run grade in the NFL, according to PFF. So Jones is still a very productive player, but with his snaps with A.J. Dillon, um, Aaron Jones, for some reason, has not really been able to find the end zone quite as often as um, he has in you know years past. And Christian Watson has tied him. So then he goes on to say here, and who wrote this article? This is written by Zach Cruz. Um, and so it says here, let me see, where did I uh, stop last time? So Watson has been on the field for all of 330 snaps. Jones and Dylan have combined for 920. So Jones and Dylan basically almost have three times as many snaps. And Watson has, you know, more touchdowns, which is pretty crazy. Uh, let me find the final interesting thing to end this one off. And he says, it doesn't help that Jones and Dylan have only received 33 carries in the red zone this season. Jones with 21 red zone rushes has the same amount of carries inside the 20 as Bears quarterback Justin Fields. And here's another crazy stat. Dylan and Jones have just five total carries inside the five-yard line, including just one for Jones. The pair has just one touchdown from inside the five. And I think when you look at the, the Packers inside, you know, the five, the 10-yard line, Dylan, I think, has four carries inside the five-yard line. Jones has one carry inside the one-yard line. And if you look at Jamal Williams, who is now in the Lions, who I was very sad the Packers, you know, had to let go or did let go in the, in the past couple of years, he has like 14 touchdowns, which is crazy just how productive he has been, especially in those, you know, short situations. And the Packers have, I mean, they haven't had quite as many opportunities, but at the same time, um, some, some pretty interesting stats I thought I would show you guys. But that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you want to see more Packers content, feel free to subscribe. If you want to see my Packers newsletter, you can sign up below um, as well. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.